What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Just a little bit more. Like right there. Ladies and gentlemen, hard to find it! Yeah, hell yeah! What's up, guys? How are you, brother? Good, yourself? I am doing fantastic. So, uh, Godless comes out on, on March 15th. Are you that excited? Are you excited for this? Very excited. How many, how many albums have you released up to this point now? I have done three albums prior with my old uh, production team. So this is so this will be the first one with New Year's. So this is four fourth album out. Yes. That is awesome. Why why did you title it Godless? Um the title how do I answer that in a good way? Um I wanted this album to sort of personify feelings of um Mm. You got me. Hang on, let me try to think of. A, Someone's gonna ask you that, so I figured it'd be easier yeah. if I asked you first. Um, I wanted something that sort of encompasses the whole meaning behind the album, which is when you're feeling down and you always pray for a better day, and you feel like no one's above watching over you, so you feel like no one's got your back that there is no one above who's going to answer all your prayers uh that's where the godless title came from gotcha is there is there a song that's on it that you haven't let anyone hear yet that you feel like a little bit more proud of this one or you're kind of just waiting for everyone to hear this one track um there is one titled weight of it all that i'm really proud of um you already heard enough. That one I'm really proud of as well. And life is is probably my favorite off the track. How did you uh, how did you link up with New Year's Day in the first place to get them aboard on your team as far as being like your new producers and, and mixer masters and all that? So that was a whole fever dream for me. I was sitting at work and they had posted that uh, their new song, which isn't new anymore, but uh, Hurts Like Hell had reached like 500,000 uh, streams or something big like that. And I had noticed that Jeremy um, Valentine, one of their guitars, had followed me. Uh, so I swiped up on the story and I replied like, congrats, well deserved or something along the lines of that. And next thing you know, he replies to me and I'm sitting at my desk at work and I'm like kind of fangirling over it because, you know, that's like an interaction that you just don't expect. Um, and I'm like, oh, wow. Um, next thing you know, I forget how exactly the conversation developed, but somehow I mentioned the, uh, my music and then he wanted to hear a demo after I was explaining to him that I was writing music, but I wanted to sort of step up the production on it to get it to the next level. Uh, he replied back saying that he does mixing and mastering and then offered to take me under his wing. And at that point, I was completely beside myself. I, I rushed home from work as fast as I could to like email him a uh, track that I had uh, ready to go to my old team. And I'm like, here, take it. Um, so excited. And it came back and it was uh, that song's called Dream of the Dead. Um, and I remember hearing it for the first time, the, um, how much improvement, uh, was on the track. So from there, I knew to stay with them. What, what artists in particular were you jamming when you started to write this album? Uh, for inspiration, like, my, st like stuff like that. My inspirations always, this is going to sound kind of cheesy, but my favorite band is Motionless and White. Um, I saw them first in 2016 around Halloween. Um, I remember the feeling of being in the crowd and making connections with his lyrics. Um, other bands that I would say are influenced for this album, um, The Amity Affliction, I feel like this album shares a lot of their darker vibes. Um, I always say that my instruments wise, it's very Linkin Park where it's very simple chords. It's not a lot of um, solos and fast playing. It's more like harder riffs and 
and power cords and stuff like that. Okay. I've seen some of your, your live footage and in it, I didn't notice if you were playing guitar while you're performing. Do you, do you do that at some of your shows or is it more just like front man stuff? Um, it's more just front man stuff and I have the backing tracks. You don't ever in, in, like anticipate busting out the guitar for, for some of your shows? Uh, maybe in a future show. For now, I find it's easier for me to get on stage and just have the mic and not have to worry about playing and singing. Um, I still need to work on the coordination <laughs> of that skill of playing and singing at the same time. Um, I also feel like I can have more interaction with the crowd if it's um, if I don't have the luggage of the instrument with me. I got you. Uh, so you said that you did bring the hot sauce. So I know you're really familiar with this next part, how it works. What you got? Frank's. No, it's no. Uh, oh, I yeah. picked this up yesterday because I made chili. It's the Frank's uh, wing sauce. Cool. I'm gonna go ghost pepper blueberry. Ghost pepper blueberry today. Um, but you know what? You know how it works. So what? What are we looking up? Um, I'm a giant nerd and I totally own that. Can we look up some Pokemon trivia? Cool. My son, I totally own up to the nerd I am. Let's do it. I bought my son a Pokemon poster this morning. You know, I shit you not. Um, I've been watching YouTube videos of these older cards that are worth like a shit ton. And I had an old collection up in my attic and I brought the collection down. I was going through it and I found a few cards that were worth a few hundred. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. What, do you do you right away sleeve them? Are they in good condition? Uh, I did buy sleeves for the ones that I found in my collection that were worth some money. Um, and I, I checked a bunch of eBay listings to make sure that I wasn't like fooling myself, but um, I was pretty excited. I, I, <laughs> I don't... looked at my girlfriend. I'm like, oh, yeah. my bad. I don't, I don't know if you've seen the Pokemon movie that came out in 2000. Um, I'm not too familiar with that one, but we can, whatever you pull up. We can try it. We can try it. Okay, we're going to try it. Here we go. Oh, my uh, my stream deck buttons are frozen, so I'll fix that here in a second. But usually make a big old noise. Okay, Pokemon trivia. Name the three islands Ash, Ash must travel to in order to get all three treasures. I can't. <laughs> it's actually kind of an easy one, though, but it's uh, Fire, Ice, Light, Fire, Ice, and Lightning as the name of the islands. Oh, that makes sense. All right. Yeah. Cheers. It's so much it's so much vinegar on that one. Oh. I gotta step up my hot sauce flavors. That one's not exactly good. It's like it's very little blueberry, it's all vinegar, and then it's all heat. And it burns. It just it just burns. Uh do you ever anticipate having guest features on any of your tracks? Um I would like to eventually ask New Year's if they would like to either write some instrumentals for me. Um, I don't really know who to reach out for for vocal features. Um, I think Ricky Armolino does features. I'm not sure what his uh, rates are, but I, I would reach out to him. I've talked to him before on Instagram a few times. Um, and possibly in the far future, um, if success comes my way asking new year's if ashley would want to do something with me if i got to that level that's awesome actually ricky's manager wrote me the other day and had me add something to his interview that we did like two years ago she's like can you add this link and i was like oh that's so random no one no one does that but i added it um jb wants to know have you ever dabbled in any other genres or has metal always been your main thing metal's always been my main thing um i do kind of in some songs do the new metal thing where I bring some spoken word or rap into the songs. Um, so I don't really know how to wait, 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 classify wait. my music. Where can um, we hear, where sorry. can we hear one of those where, where you rap in the song? Um, I think broken has a little bit of it. Um, I think where the bones lie has some of the spoken words in the beginning of it. Is that something you think you're going to bring back though? Like, like uh, in one of the newer tracks, you got like a heavy, heavy section, then out of nowhere, just like a hip hop flow section. That'd be cool. I think that'd be badass, dude. What do, what do you have planned in 2024? Like what happens uh, March 16th and beyond? 
right now uh, I'm trying to get some shows lined up. Uh, you mentioned the website Get Gigs a few uh, weeks ago, so I logged on to that website, and I'm trying to network through there right now. Um, it's hard finding shows when you're a solo guy. Everyone wants full bands, um, so I try my best to do my little live streams and post on YouTube as much as I can to get some uh, get my name out there. No plans on ever having like a full band. I I do like the solo um, gig right now. Um, I I'm a little afraid to venture off and and join a full band just because. I have I I like the direction I'm going in, um, and I don't want to have to deal with the drama of people clashing over creative differences or people leaving the band. All of my friends um, that are in bands right now, they've had a lot of drama, and I've seen kind of the downs of it. Um, so I really am fortunate that I'm able to just do things my way. Um, but I would be totally open to it in the future if I was able to find people that I really vibe with. Hell yeah. I, uh, all the rest of the Pokemon trivia is like about the video games. I don't know if that counts. Yeah, we could do the video games. Is there a particular Pokemon video game? Um, I mean, it's got no, the Game Boy me. ones. It's got, it's got surprise them Surprise me. All right. Uh, have you played all the, the Game Boy ones? Uh, majority, yeah. All right, I'm going to go with gold, silver, crystal. I'm just going to look up something in gold, silver, crystal and see what happens. Um, I haven't played those, but we'll see if I can come up with the answer. <laughs> How many more singles are you are you planning on releasing from Godless? So I was actually just going to do the two. I was going to do um, <clears throat> Where the Bones Lie, and I was going to do Wait. And then you mentioned that Godless should have been a single, and I kind of agreed with that. Um, so we dropped Godless today. Uh, two weeks before the full album. Is there any particular reason you picked March 15th? Like, does that date have a significance or is that just... It doesn't up? have any significance. Um, I think that um, for the size of the band that I am right now, I tried to um, project my release a little too far into the future. Um, it was going to come out late April and I think... I wanted to tighten the release date a little bit just to get the music out faster. Gotcha. Uh, all right. In in Pokemon, what did it say? Gold, silver, gold, silver, crystal. Uh, your your trivia question is: What type of Pokemon is Pseudo Wudo? It is a rock type. That is correct. Well done. <laughs> it's weird without all the buttons, but uh, <laughs> that is correct. One more of this. I'll still drink it. We'll do it. Hell yeah. Cheers. Oh, it's instantly hot again. Instantly hot again. What kind of guitar is your purple guitar that you that you mostly use? Um, so the musicians and the guitarists in the chat are gonna probably hate me. Um I use a custom company out of California in Escondido called Kiesel. Uh, they've been around forever, and they do completely custom instruments. Um, they're kind of a controversial company because some people on YouTube say that uh, they get terrible customer service and that their instruments come uh, with flaws and defects. I haven't run into that issue. Um, basically, you go on their website. They have a builder. Uh, you can make the guitar to your specs down to a T. Um, there's a little bit of a lead time depending on like what specs you put on the guitar. It's usually like uh 10 to 20 weeks um and they're relatively pricey but um i like them they get the job done oh yeah um it's weird i i don't have a whole lot of questions for you because you're always hanging with us you, you co-host all the time um is there anything that you that you think we should discuss that we maybe didn't didn't bring up or chat about um with the album what are, what are the things i want to touch on the album I'm I'm really happy, and this goes on to some tips that I can give uh, starting musicians. Please do. Definitely, definitely know your strengths and weaknesses. Um, I know nothing about music production. I really don't. I barely know enough how to plug the guitar into the DAW and get the the track recorded. Um, so what I do is I give uh, New Year's a good solid song to work with, and I write them a message and I say, "Hey guys, like." 
please just take this and and you know massage it however you want um do whatever you need to do to really spice this up um and they i i remember uh when they sent me the tracks back i listened to them the first time and i was freaking the fuck out dude <laughs> i was like oh my god when they added all those stutters and the glitches and all that stuff i was like Oh, it's awesome. So definitely know your strengths and weaknesses. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, something else on this album. I, f I like that on this album particularly, as opposed to the past three that I put out, um, I, f I feel like everyone needs to start somewhere. And I feel like it's really good um, that I did write all those songs, even if they weren't success, because it sort of gave me um, strength in my songwriting abilities. But... I feel like this album is really cohesive as an album, <laughs> as opposed to calling it an album where the songs don't really relate to each other. But I feel like this album tells a story and the track order that I put the songs in helps continue that story along. So I like the album continuity uh, with this one. Is that something that you planned on when you when you made Godless or did, did the songs just kind of naturally come? Or they just happen to fit and have a cohesiveness that allows it to ride from the beginning to the end. So this album, um, I don't want to call it an accident, but I never... E each song sort of came about by itself, and um, it, it, each song wasn't really planned. The way that I write my songs is that I'll, I'll think of a riff. All my songs start with uh, guitar riffs, and then I build the drums on top of that and then the bass and the vocals are always last for me um unless there's a very rare occasion where i will think of um one line and i'll be like oh that would make a great song and then i start building the guitar from there but um i had three three songs that i completely scrapped two days before i sent the stems to new year's and i rewrote those songs um and i i think i really buckled down and i don't want to say i got lucky um but so something just happened to work out for me and i'm really happy with how that happened what um, are the two, what are the names of, of those two songs so the th three songs i know for sure that i rewrote was um my song haunted uh that song i wrote uh, two years ago, the instrumentals, and um, I kept the instrumentals, but I changed the lyrics. Um, the song, uh, Weight of It All, that song was a full instrumental written that I completely scrapped and rewrote the entire thing, and then uh, the lyrics for. And uh, there was one other song that I scrapped the lyrics for. Um, oh, Enough was written, and I scrapped Enough. Uh, and rewrote the instruments for that. And that ended up and, being um, one of your favorites. Yeah. And the way that I came up with the lyrics for this album is something that I hadn't done before. Um, when I would drive home from work, I had the instrumentals um, bounced on my phone, and I would play the songs, um, the instrumentals, and as I was driving home, I'd be thinking of uh, lyrics to sing over them. And when I got home, I had... Um, I would always, I like to write my choruses first to make sure that I have like a strong hook and that I write my verses around there. So when I would get home, I have like an hour ride um, home from work. So I would have pretty much a rough chorus done and set to go. So I would turn on the the mic and record that and then massage as needed. And then it was pretty easy for me to bang through um, the vocals for the song, the lyrics. Hell yeah. Well, uh, well, Hart, I appreciate you uh, doing a follow-up interview with me about about Godless coming out March 15th, brother. We've liked everything we've heard. You did fantastic in the last tournament, and you're automatically on today's Daily Poll because you're our guest today. But we love you, sir. Thanks for swinging by. March 15th, Godless drops. Make sure to check it out. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, brother, and I appreciate you. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, BG. My pleasure. My my buttons don't work, so I can't hit the the hell yes and all all that jazz. But cheers, man. Enjoy the rest of your day, and and uh, thanks again for for kicking it. All right, thank you.